Hey guys, backyard scrapping here. Um, we're going to continue on with our little recovery series um, where I'm going to be showing you how you can recover precious metals or silver or even gold or whatever from different items that it's not really going to. And again, this is recovery, this is not refining. But you can do this inexpensively at home and save this material up in order to send it off to be refined. But basically what we have here, this is going to be about, you've heard a lot about this electro stripping and or stripping the gold, not gold, stripping the silver plate from silver plated material like this. And this is basically what you need. First you need some material, you need a couple clothes pins, you need a strainer, you need some salt, you need a stainless steel knife, fork, or spoon, preferably non-magnetic if you can get it. You need a jar to work in, something to dispose of your water in. Now this water can generally be poured right down the drain. Um, it's not going to really hurt anything. I don't advise pouring it out outside because this is going to be salt water. It will kill your grass. It will, uh, you know, if you pour it on your plants, it's going to kill your plants because it's going to be highly concentrated salt water. But other than that, it's going to be solid metals in there, so you're not making any kind of, a, um, you know, like a chloride or anything like that that's going to damage anything. Now, before we can do any of this, this is what we're going to do in this video today, is we're going to show you, I don't know if you can see this very well, but under here I have mounted to my desk an old computer power supply and that's what I'm going to go over first because you have to have some kind of a power supply to do this now you can just use a 12 volt battery charger that is fine that will work just fine I don't advise using anything that's going to anything other than that that's going to plug into a wall like you know a 12 volt adapter of some kind I wouldn't do that but a 12 volt battery charger will work but Again, a lot of this has already been on YouTube, but I'm going to go over how to take an old one of these right there. That's just an old computer power supply, and we are going to make that power supply usable for different things. We're not, you won't just have to use it for stuff like this. Now if you make it, I make them solely for each item that I'm going to do or each particular use, but you can actually make this into something that's going to, you know, cover, 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 excuse me, I can't talk today, cover several different things. So we'll get back at you in this video and show you how to do this and what you're going to end up with. So we'll be back at you in a bit, guys. Okay, here we have an old computer power supply. Okay, it has all the ratings here on the side, the voltage, you know, the current, frequency, all that. Which I really am not an electrician. I don't know a lot about it. But you need to have a, naturally a power cord that will fit it. So we are going to plug this in. This is only 12 volts of current coming out of this, so it's not going to hurt you. And we're going to turn our switch on. Well, you see, nothing happens. And the reason nothing happens is because this is not attached to anything. And it's the motherboard that tells this to turn on. So the very first thing that we have to do is we have to tell it that it's connected to something. So all your black wires, every black wire in this, on all these are all a ground wire. Okay, so you know they're all grounds, all the black ones. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find a green wire right here and a black wire, which there is one right next to it, I believe. Yeah, so it would be... be these two right here these two and we are going to jump those together we're just simply going to stick a wire in there and stick another wire in that one so we're going to jump those together and this is how we're going to tell if our power supply is any good or not 
Now we are going to plug it back in. We have it jumped, and there you see it came on. Because what actually happened here is that little blue wire or jump wire I used is faking this thing out and telling it that it's connected to a motherboard. So we know that this is a good power supply. Alright, so our next thing is going to be sorting the wires. Um, this is if you don't have a battery charger, you know, handy, but you have one of these. And by the way, guys, I got tons of these. Um, if you want to pay me like five bucks for one and pay the shipping, I'd be happy to send you one. Um, but, and it may or may not have a switch. This one just happens to have a switch. Naturally, that's better. Uh, the next thing we're going to go through, now that we know that we have a good power supply, is, and I'm not going to go through rebuilding this whole thing. There are videos out there on the, on the net that will show you how to do this. I'm just going to basically explain to you, you know, what I showed you under my desk earlier that I've mounted to my desk is one that I've already made. And I just basically have that one set up as 12 volt. And being that I have so many of these, I make them for whatever I need them for. If I need it for, uh, well, for an example, we know the black wires are, gra are all grounds. All right. The yellow wires, every yellow wire here, so you separate those out. All these yellow wires coming out of here are putting out 12 volts DC. Okay, your red wires, all your red wires that are coming out of here, the reds are putting out 5 volts. And then you have orange wires, and that's in here too. So same thing. All the orange wires are 3 volts, all the red wires are 5 volts, and all the yellow wires are 12 volts. Now real quickly, so really all you have to do is cut the ends off and separate the wires out and bundle them together and that's your voltage. I'm going to just show you what I made real quickly for my silver cell. And being that I only needed 3 volts, what I actually did was I actually opened the box. Okay, this is another one that has a switch. But I actually opened it up, cleaned it out, and I took all the other wires that I didn't need, cut them off, wrapped them, put caps on them, and kept them in the box so I didn't have a big mess. And then what I actually did, all I need naturally from there is a ground. So I kept three of those wires, braided them out into a ground, connected them for this, and... I did the same thing. I only need three volts. This is actually to power my silver cell. And when you're powering a silver cell, you want to put an inline fuse in just in case. But anyway, there you see. So, so that's what I needed. Now you could do that, like I showed you, and you could take that one power supply and have it, you know, have each wire out the 12, 5, and 3 volts so that you don't have to make separate ones. I just keep this in one place. I have the one under my desk that I use for the stripping, so I just did that one at 12 volts, and I like it to look neat. I don't like cut off wires everywhere. But basically, that's the simplicity of it, to do that. To make your own, if you have an old junk computer laying around, like I said, if not, you don't want to go spend 50 or 60 bucks for a battery charger. I have tons of these, literally tons of them. Um, five bucks a piece in shipping, which I don't even know what the shipping would be if you want one, but you're going to have to make it. And you can, like I said, if you have a little bit of electrical knowledge and you're not afraid to open this up, you know, and I'm not recommending you do that, don't get me wrong, I'm not recommending that you do any of this if you don't know how to do it. I don't happen to like just cutting all the wires off and having all that wire sticking out, you know, so I did it that way. But a lot of people will just take this, cut the ends off, you know, they'll cut all the ends off of this, then they'll get all the wires at an equal length, separate them into color, into each color, and they'll just keep them, you know, use it all. Because really, I mean, it makes sense too. If, you, if you're going to be moving it around, using it for different applications, well, then you might as well keep all that, you know, each current coming out. So one more little thing, guys. I almost forgot this part. I showed you where you take and jump, you know, that black and that green wire. This is the only part of the wiring that I'm going to actually show you. In order to keep this working, 
All right, just jumping it isn't going to work. If you go through everything I just told you and you don't do this one little thing, it's still not going to work. In order for this to work, you have to take that green wire and that black wire and you have to put them together. Now this is going to be before, you know, all your other wiring. These two have to go together so you can put them together and cap them or you can bend them over and put electrical tape, whatever, just make sure you seal that. But that green and black wire has to be connected. If that's not connected, it's not going to turn on. So that was, you know, I know I showed you that I jumped it, but I didn't tell you that you have to permanently connect those two wires. You have to connect a green wire to, and it can be any black wire, it just so happens those two are side by side. But that is the first part of this silver stripping. Like I said, first of all, you have to have a power supply. So. I just wanted to show you that inexpensively if you have an old computer or if you can pick one of these up somewhere like I said I have a bunch of them um, and just make yourself a great little power supply that you can do a lot of different things with so that's this was just going to be a quick video in the next video I will be showing you um, the stripping itself you know with the salt water and the reverse electroplating I'll show you how to do that what you're going to want to do how you're going to want to filter it and save it up but I just wanted to go over this power supply thing with you um, like I said there's tons of videos if you want to watch on YouTube where somebody walks you through the entire process of making one of these um, it's not all that complicated like I said just like keep your like wires together jump your green and your black wire to make sure your power supply is good plug it in test it if it's good you're ready to go alrighty guys we'll get back at you when we start on doing some electro stripping because like I said everybody's asking me inexpensive ways that they can recover again we're doing this little series is on recovery it is not on refining I'm showing you inexpensive ways that you can recover metal to, and prepare it to get it ready for refining. So have a good one everybody and we'll be back at you when we're going to strip a little bit of silver. We'll see you in the next one.